In today's video, I wanna go and talk to you about cold calling, how to cold call a client and why, in my opinion, it is the best, even better than email, cold emails, email marketing, whatever you wanna call it, to send to a client for your social media marketing agency. So let's jump straight into it. But before we do that, guys, link in the description, the only link in the description is my Telegram group. Join my Telegram group completely free. It's me and all the people that follow me and we talk, we grow, we help each other out. We just help each other out to start somebody's agency, getting the emails done. So make sure to come and join, link in the description, completely free, join the family, like, subscribe, Thank you very much. We're about to hit 10 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe if you are new and let's jump straight into it. The first thing that you need to know about cold calls, the easiest way to get in touch, you're able to go and find emails, phone numbers, anything that you want in Google. And I want to go and show you right now on video this example. If you go on Google and you type in, let's say, Dentist Milano. I am in Milano. We look at the dentist. You type in Dentist Milano on Google or Facebook and I will show you overlay on this video where you're able to find phone numbers and emails both on Facebook and Google for the dentist that you want to go and interact. You don't have to do dentist. You're able to do this with uh, singing schools, ballet school, guitar courses, uh, Kung Fu scores, anything, gyms, you're able to find phone numbers and the emails. But I do like the emails. I do like to have a nice email list of clients. I do have it, but also in a page, you know, page word or word document, you're able to go and put the email as well as the phone numbers. And I would suggest to first go onto the phone number and contact them with the phone numbers. Why do I mean this? Well, phone numbers, are very important in the terms that you're able to go and talk directly to who you want. For example, uh, let's go and put this as an example and we take the phone and we call the client. So if you're calling the client, you're able to say, hello, am I talking to the owner of this dental clinic? They'll be like, yes, or they'll be like, I'm just a secretary. At this point, depending on your strategy, you can either ask, can I talk to the owner, please? I have a business pitch to present it to him or you can just say to him or her depending on the boss make sure to do your due diligence do your research on a place make sure to not mess up when you talk to them and i know talking is a little bit hard but you will get going i would say try the top three you know top 10 of everything of your niche because with those you can make mistakes as most likely they already have who follows them on social media but for the next one, you know, the like page two, page three of Facebook and Google, meaning that they do not do much Google ads. They do not uh, do much SEO on Google or Facebook reviews or anything like that. They are the real clients. So very, very important that you remember that the first page of every research, it means that they're there because they already have somebody taking care of it. But page two, page three, page four, Sorry, that is my dog having a dream. Uh, she's sleeping right under the sofa, so forgive me for that. But as we were saying, page two, page three, page four are the clients that you're looking for. The one that do not have yet a social media manager, SEO manager, Google ads, any of that. So make sure to try with the first one to then get your actual clients. But what is very important that you do your research and once you talk to them, we go back to the scenarios Either you talk directly to the boss or to the secretary. If you're looking for studios, dentists, chiropractors, gyms, all of that, it's not going to be the owner answering. There's going to be somebody for the owner at the desk. So you can either talk to them and I would suggest you just saying like this, how to, you know, how to get the conversation without being, you know, heavy on them, without telling them do this, do this and this and that. Just be like, hello, my name is Lorenzo. And I'm calling you not to ask you information regarding the courses, but to propose you a business pitch. If you would have 30 seconds to one minute to listen to my proposal, it would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, I wouldn't be offended if you just drop the phone down right now and you're not interested. This gives them the possibility to go and say, okay, I listen to you. And even if they just want to do it for a sign of respect, just to be nice, you're still able to present your idea. At that point, once you are in chat with them, once you talk to them, once you're like 
Thank you very much uh, for the time that you're giving me. My name is Lorenzo or whoever is calling, if it's not me. And I would like to present you my business idea. I saw you on the page number three of Google and I saw your Facebook page. I saw your Instagram page. We, I would like you to present myself. I am a social media manager and I have my own agency. And I would like you to have uh, a conversation with me regarding your you know, studio, your dentist, your gym, whatever, uh, for working together. And I would like to help you to manage your social, to help you with the advertisement, to get you more clients, to get you this, to get you that. So you start the conversation and you show them the problem. The first thing is not a problem, but you know, a little bit of, I saw you on page number four of Google. I saw you on page number five of Google. Just put them there or on Facebook, just put it like that so that they understand, oh, maybe we're doing something wrong. Maybe we should be looking more into social media, more into Google, more into the phone numbers and they get a good going of it. So that's the first thing on cold calling. It is very important to cold call a client and I think it is the easiest way because you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with the boss you're already going to have or with the secretary and then not have the possibility to decide, you just tell them, okay, I appreciate your time. Could I send you a follow-up on the email? Could I have a booking appointment? Could I have a booking call with the owner of the studio? Could I have the possibility to go and talk to the owner so I present to them directly my pitch? I can tell them my business plan or anything else like that. So at first you present the idea, you give them the possibility, you show them the problem. Even if it's not a problem, it is a thing like I found you on Google and you were ranked on the page number three, which could be, oh, maybe we're not, it could tick on the clients. Maybe we're not visible enough. Maybe this guy could help us. And the major point which I do want to talk about is a lot of people in the group and on the comments and I get private messages, they're like, what about the pricing? Well, if you're at the very beginning of your career, if you just started your social media marketing agency, I will do also a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start it. The major thing is you need to be flexible with the pricing. You cannot go into social media and be like, okay, I saw Iman on YouTube saying that he charges $25,000 for a client. You cannot do that. If it is your first client, if it is your second client, you go in with either $200, $300 just to cover up a little bit of your time, not much. If it is your very first client and they're like, okay, we like the idea, uh, did you work with anybody previously? If the answer is no, because if, they, if you did work with somebody, they will ask you most likely for results. So if you say no, you know, it's okay. You can just be like, no, I'm just starting this business and you would be my first client and I did really like your studio. I have a friend that comes there, make up an excuse, tell them why you would like them to be your first client. One thing that you need to keep in mind, and this is very important, you can also work for free. You are at the beginning. You need, as he asked you, for example, of previous, you know, documentation of clients, the results, the money you brought them. If you say no, don't worry about it. Go and work for free use them as your guinea pig. You can have them extremely well, which then they can reward you because they're like, actually, we did not pay you, but we found out that you helped us a lot. You get us leads, Facebook leads, so you get the contact information and then you give it to them through Facebook and an email saying, these are the leads that are generated, these are the people, for example, if it's a dentist, a three-in-one treatment or you get three white tiffening and we're gonna give you one for free so you only pay for two. There's a lot of things that you can put on the strategies up to you and to the owner of the business. You have a talk with them one-on-one, -on -one, but the possibility are there. Work for free, give them results, and then maybe in you, know, you give them a one-month free trial. And then they're like, oh, this actually worked. They only need to pay for the ads. You do not have to pay for the ads, of course, but they're like, this actually works. I would like you to work with me in a second month. If you get results in the first month, you can then talk to them and be like, okay, I would also like to work with you together for two, three, four, five more months. But as you saw the results in the first month, I brought you this much leads, this much contact, this many contacts. I would like to charge, I would like you to politely understand that I would like to charge you X amount. Do not go shooting for the stars. Don't go and ask $5,000. Don't go and ask $6,000. If 
you did get them $20,000 in business, yes, you are entitled to ask them for $2,000 and you put it in very simple terms. I have made you $20,000 from the clients that sign up with my technique in Facebook ads, Google ads, Google reviews, whatnot. And it is very important then that you give them a little bit of a presentation. I made $20,000 for you. I would likely appreciate if I could get paid 10% of that in the following months because that is what we're going to aim for. Give them deals, give them if I don't reach this, I get 50%, you know, make up your mind. If I don't get another 20 leads, then you're only able to pay me 10 leads. It's okay, we go down back and forth, but you need to be flexible with the pricing. And that is why cold email, it is very, very important. And I think it's the best way, honestly, and you're able to go and talk directly to them. If you're not, for example, you're in London and you want to work with the US, give them a call, hop on a Zoom call. I know it's hard at the beginning. I know you're not feeling comfortable. That's why you need to take some guinea pigs. And the guinea pigs are the one that already you can see they got some social media market expertise. They got somebody following them, but they're willing to talk to you and to tell you the truth. So that's, in my opinion, cold calling. Why cold calling is the best. The voice on, you know, the possibility to explain everything instead of an email and then sitting through and reading the whole email for like five minutes, you call them, you're like, hey, could you give me a minute, please, of your time? If not, just hang up the phone. Most people are not going to be extremely rude, so they're not going to dump the phone on you. They're just going to let you talk and you get experience. You get a little bit of self-esteem. You understand how things are going and then you get and do even better. But... That's my opinion on cold calling. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video. Ciao, guys.